Bernard Rippey here, Portland, Indiana, Tri-State Engine Tractor Show, checking out some field demonstrations. Looks like a couple D4 Caterpillars out there currently. Just trailer loads of snow blowers over there, probably simplicity. A couple dragline cranes. I think one's a link belt anyway. And I think there's some larger bulldozers. A lot of people have their golf carts parked, they're kind of where they're watching. I don't see any pretty ladies out here in pink little Daisy Dukes. You think some ladies would like this kind of stuff, wouldn't they? I don't know. She thinks my tractor's sexy. That's a sexy one. There's a patriotic one. Rows and rows of tractors out here, guys. Restored tractors, show tractors, the Pro Master tractors, tractors of cool names. This one here is just kind of the old, worn out, tired iron tractor in propane. Yes. A tractor from out west. There's your propane regulator, your propane carburetor, and your propane tank. So, this, this was where all the mud was last year, in a way. They're just going back and forth, back and forth. Ten minutes on one of them seems like an eternity. Man, I got here quick today, and I had rain. I was like, I don't want to be killed. He's like, you brought your bike? And I'm like, that's a whole idea. And there's a Bucyrus Erie with a 353 Detroit. The 720 John Deere. Wide front end. A 620. The, the crops look fantastic. The Terex, that's the one where the girl gets on with the pink Daisy Dukes. So a rotted AC. Slammed. And straight pipes. Yes. Nice little parade tractor. You never know what you're going to run into over here. So I, I will keep going past the um, sawmill. This is the one in the back of the magazine. It said build your own dozer. It's, it hasn't been restored in a while. Strunk. S-T-R-U-N-K. From London, Kentucky. That's down the Interstate 75. So this is the new uh, construction equipment museum stuff out here. Wow. Man, that'd be a good idea to dig a pond out here. I don't know. I think they ought to put the campground over here and put the show over where, or I don't know, at least make it drain. But there's the field of tractors, which is good. That's a good turnout on that. There's a kind of an empty spot here you'd thought be filled in. But from here over to those trees is a flea market. And I'm going to touch about not even a tenth of the flea market. And get it on tape real quick and jump on the bike and go back where I come from. So he has the case out of Minneapolis running the sawmill. And there's a, what's a vintage chainsaw guy that would display his chainsaws. So I will be sure to hit these real quick for the viewers. They're just, they're just static, but some beautiful tractors from Indiana that don't make it to Ohio normally. This one's called Eclipse. Yeah, my dad used to lease a company named Eclipse. A, a, a Thresher? Frick? Out of Waynesboro, PA? That one's Case. 
I can feel the heat coming off that guy and you can see it. Nice. Oh, he's over here demonstrating some more equipment and there's a military Dodge Pile Wagon. But this is the beginning of the flea market, guys. I mean, this thing is wild. Here's the guy with the machine gun again. Motorcycle parts in here. There's a pop-up camper high in the sky. Over back behind the sawmill. And... Yeah, he got a pretty good load of dirt on there. A piece of Ford equipment and four-wheel drive. And that's a link belt right there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Portland, Indiana, guys. Burger Rippy, thanks for watching my videos.